and I like to rub that here, like on, on, on the girls, <laughs> just so it can be sweet in that area to the taste. Hey, hey, it is Victoria Victoria, and welcome back to another video. All right, girls, so in today's video, I'm gonna be going over everything that I like to do before I do the do, just to feel clean and sexy, and just be prepared. And if you guys hear any noise in the background, I do have company, so ignore that. But let's get right into it. So the first thing that I like to do, or one of the things that I like to do before I do the do, is to clean my mouth using mouthwash. And the reason why is because our mouth holds so much bacteria, and there's a lot of saliva exchange during the do. And you want to make sure that that bacteria is annihilated. I like to use mouthwash because mouthwash is going to get rid of that bacteria. And I don't like to brush my teeth. The reason I don't like to brush is because when you're brushing, you do cause lots of little tears on your gums. And once that's exposed, you have an open wound. And then you're going in and you're doing the do. And that can put you at risk for an STI. So let's just play it safe and use mouthwash to all those bacteria and then get into it. Another important thing that goes without saying is to make sure that you are always fresh down there. So I like to take a shower. You guys know I like to use the Feminine Wash Honey Pot. Looks like this. And I like to use it because it is pH balanced and it's made for the V. And I like to make sure I'm clean everywhere. If you cannot get to a shower, just take a little bird bath. You can use some uh, Feminine Wipes. I like to use Honey Pot Feminine Wipes. And then you just make sure you wipe your entire V from top to bottom in between the crevices and then wipe backwards to your butt area. Also, while you're in the shower, make sure you are cleaning thoroughly. Make sure you're getting between all of the crevices. Make sure to get your butt. And the reason I put emphasis on that is because a lot of people don't know this, but the back leading bacteria that causes UTI is from your butt area. Uh-huh, so make sure you're getting that butt really good. Also, ladies, you know we have our nails. Make sure you are cleaning really well under your nails because that does hold a lot of bacteria. If you cannot get to a shower, wash your hands really well, get under those nails because we don't want any of that bacteria being transferred over into our section and then causing us to have an infection. And make sure he's clean. Make sure his nails are clean, his hands are clean, his areas are clean. Because if he's not clean, you don't have no business being there anyway. Another thing that I always make sure that I do before I do the do is I make sure I pee. I think a lot of people put emphasis on making sure you pee after you do the do and rightfully so because you totally should but it's just as important to pee beforehand because you want to make sure you're flushing out any type of type of bacteria and I talk a lot about bacteria because I'm uber sensitive if you're new here and I try to take any type of precautionary measure so it won't have a UTI or a yeast infection or anything like that so making sure that you pee will flush out that bacteria not only that is it will release any pee so it won't be any added pressure during the do that can make you uncomfortable. So just go ahead and pee, girl. All right, girls, so now we are moving on to my favorite part in all of this, and that is just general hygiene stuff, but things that makes you feel sexy, smell sexy. You guys know that I always like to smell good and feel good, baby soft. If you're not new here, you already know that about me. And I'm gonna give you guys everything that I do before I do the do to get that vibe, to get that feel, get the, all of that sex appeal going on, okay? So this is what I do. It's a very strategic process. So I like to use butters. And the reason, what I mean by butters is I like cocoa butters, I like shea butters. And I like this because they're clean. They don't have any other ingredients but this. But not only that, they leave your skin feeling silky smooth. And I like to layer and moisturize and just put it on heavy, okay? Because I want to feel soft. I want to feel like a goddess. I want to feel like an angel and it works. So I like to use these all over my skin, all over my body. I even take cocoa butter because that is perfectly safe for the V and I glide that on the outside of my V and honey, she is soft. She is glazed. She is ready. So let me show you what I like to use all over my body first and that is going to accept the V. I don't put this on the V. This is going to be Truly's unicorn fruit. Looks like this. And I love this because this is butter based like I told you guys So it's gonna be thick and creamy and rich and leave you feeling so soft and silky This has your uh, shea butter in it your coconut your cocoa butter in it And it also has mango butter and it smells amazing It is also very very clean and it smells like 
like a fruity cupcake, <laughs> you know? And so I just put this all over my body, but I skipped the V. I don't put this on the V only because it has dyes in it. And like, like you already know, I'm very sensitive, so I don't play that. All the colors I can't do, but I could put it everywhere else and it just leaves me feeling super smooth and super soft. Now, after I apply this, as well as the cocoa butters and the shea butters, because I layer it on thick. <laughs> after I do that, I then go in and I put this here. I like to use Miss Dior or I like to use Gucci Flora perfume. I like to go in and put these at all of my pulse points. So those are areas like your wrist, behind at the nape of your neck behind your ears in between your um, elbows and I spray this at all of my pulse points and then I also put it in between my thighs not on my V okay let's be clear on that in between my thighs so I spray on my right thigh I spray on my left thigh and then I rub it into the butters and it smells absolutely amazing and then what I do girls then what I do is I go in with rose water and spray that onto the V I love this this is by heritage I believe heritage store and I like this because this is actually good for the V Google it Rose water is good for the V. So what I do is I just take one spray, one mist, and I spray that on the V, and it has a very mild but fragrant scent to it. It smells like flowers. It's literally the only ingredient is organic rose petals, so it smells amazing. Just, you know, just in case someone comes by to visit. And after that, girls, that is pretty much it. That is everything that I do. I do make a sugar scrub that I showed you guys a long time ago, like four years ago. And um, I don't sell the sugar scrubs, but you can make them at home. I'll leave a link to that video. All you really do, it doesn't really take that much. You take sugar and you take coconut oil, and you mix that together and it'll create a bit of a scrub. And I like to rub that here, like on, on, on the girls, <laughs> just so it can be sweet in that area to the taste. And um, that is really about it. Other than that, I just wanted to tell you all to make sure that you are safe. You know what safe is. So whatever your version of safe is, what you have an understanding of safe is, hopefully you have the right understanding. Make sure you are being safe. Make sure your partner is clean. Make sure your partner is safe. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. My Instagram name is at a underscore beauty underscore beast. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.